Welcome everybody. This is W Ball Zoo Three with Thomas Stout Twenty Five. In the last episode, I ended it right here. There might be a fight going on with yep. Mister X or Hunk, as we call him. Now, I haven't explained what his purpose is in this game. Basically, um, Umbrella dropped him out of that helicopter to retrieve the G virus sample. So I didn't clear that up, like what his purpose is in this game. But he's just a tyrant trying to get a hold of the G virus. No, he's a monkey. Yeah, so in the last episode, he busted through this wall as I lit that f uh, fireplace to get no, the cog. He's a lot out. bigger than we are, too. Yeah, yeah, he's a tyrant. And you think you can get a, a, cl a clean getaway, but wait a second. He's not coming. Die, Death. dude. He is down for the count. I got one that bad. A grenade launcher. Yeah, yeah. He'll he'll uh, get tougher though. He's kind of like tyrant, but I mean uh, nemesis, but not as bad, uh -huh. you know, because nemesis is a lot tougher. I mean, nemesis can yep. run. Nemesis is a lot smarter. It's just. Yep. You see what I would have done right there is if I was clear. I would have took my grenade launcher and blew his fucking head off. Yeah. That's just me. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Now, the bad part is, since I had to fight him at the beginning of this episode, I couldn't go back and get the stuff I said I was going to get. So, I'm still going to have to make time and do it either off screen or on screen. I don't know. But that kind of sucked. Yeah. It was bad timing on my part to end the episode, but I don't want to be over 20 minutes. Yeah, that's okay. So I'm going to have to go back and get that machine gun. And a, b a bunch of those herbs that I passed up. Yeah. Even though I, well, this is the second scenario, so I want to basically pick up all the herbs I can. I might as well. Yeah. I like these 3D animations here. Oh, shot him right in the back. Wow. That was yeah. a mean. Yeah, that liquor was waiting on us again. No. Yeah. Alright, so here we are in a library. Did read some, read us some books? Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna go out here on a third floor. This police station is fucking huge. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's kind of like the mansion in the first game. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. It's like a mansion I can understand it being huge, but a police station being this big? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you expect it to be somewhat big, I mean. Yeah, Raccoon not City. Like this. I have it. Yeah, Raccoon City is a major city, even though it's fictional, but it's supposed to be a yeah. major city. I mean, not like New York, maybe like I don't know, Houston size. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but I've never known of a, a police station to have its own library. Yeah. Yeah, I think Raccoon City is pretty freaking big. I mean, it. It has a lot of people, so it's, it's like close to like a Houston or Phoenix, I'm thinking it. And I think it's actually located in like Utah. It's real weird, like the Utah, Nevada area. Wow. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah, it's a little strange. Good old writers. Writers? I said write writers. Oh, I thought you said writers. I was like, you notice there's no music playing either. Yeah, none. Oh, I couldn't hear anything for what. Oh, that's why. Uh oh, I hear music now. Oh, shit. Look at this. I'm gonna run. She's going to die. There oh, we go. In the See, if you just blew his head off to begin with, you wouldn't have to do this. Oh, yeah. This guy's like a damn stalker. 
Yeah, he is. He's like Nemesis, only easier. A good bit easier. Fuck. Nemesis, I'd have to put like seven Magnum rounds right in his chest to kill him. Yeah. I've never, uh, I've never beaten any of these games. Yeah. I mean, I've seen people play him and beat him, but I've never personally beat him. Yeah, Nemesis is a bitch. Like, I yeah. even sometimes play it on easy, and there are some fights where sometimes I can even die just because he just yeah. beats the crap out of me. I mean, you know, he's not the typical um, tyrant where you can just, like, run away from him after you shoot him because he will run and catch you. Yeah, he will fuck you up, too. Yeah, he will run and catch you. Um, I am... Well, yeah, let's do this. Let's grab... I'm going the wrong way. Um, let's grab each of the stones. There we go. Um, grab this. So we have all three stones. Let's put the two blue stones together, which will make the jaguar stone. And we got the eagle and serpent. So that's the three stones we need to progress. Let me get, um, just some, uh, first aid spray just to be safe. Yeah, be a little cautious. Yeah. If it was me playing, I'd probably kick like three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Like, suck. Yeah, I understand. Claire! Or Sherry. Sherry, I'm you're bitch. okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Alright, so let's do this. Let's put these stones in here. Eagle, Serpent, and Jaguar. Yep. In that order. Yep. And there's a note there, but you know what? I want this has been bugging me. Let's see what's in here. Now, of course, this is where we first found Sherry last mm -hmm. two episodes ago. I want to see what's in this. Uh, thing I forgot, this little trunk. I remember the first time my friend played this game, that tiger scared the fuck out of me. Because <laughs> it's just boom, there. Yeah. Yeah, stuff like that just, I don't know. I was like 12. Oh, jeez, it just hand got ammo. Oh, that's garbage. Yeah. I, first, I thought it was a crank. Second, I thought it was first aid spray. And it turns out to be handgun ammo. Oh. Shows how much I know. That's a waste of 30 seconds. Yeah, totally. But I need it. Well, I don't need yeah. it, but it's nice to have it. I mean, hell. Get all the handgun ammo you can get. Melt to the chief just basically says that the chief's corrupt. Yeah. Or no. Well, Albert, uh, I forget what it says. Yeah, I want to go down, damn it. Claire! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? She's a little girl. She's not going to listen. <laughs> what the hell? Guess where we're going. Did you down. listen? No, I, I, I don't think I, I. But you know what? I would probably listen if there's zombies out there. Because yeah. if I was a little kid during all this crazy shit going on, I'd be scared as fuck. Yeah, but it's just like, she's not. Yeah, well, she is a little bit, but... Yeah, but not like... Normal. Yeah. Now, we're heading to the rape dungeon, T-Style. This is the rape dungeon. Oh, God, this is a... No. That's where the spiders are at. No. <laughs> Oh. So you've made it this far. It's where the rapist is this. at. Not bad, girl. But I oh, don't yeah. think anyone leave my I town. Everyone's gonna die. This game forever. Calm down, Chief. What happened? Shut up! You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Those monsters from Umbrella have destroyed my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Then you must know about the G-Virus. What is it? Tell me! If you 
must know. It's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bio-windows. Superior to the T-virus in every way. Oh. Dr. William Birkin is the genius behind the project. William Birkin? I'm sure you've already seen this little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? In case you haven't already figured it out. The monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. An ultimate bio -win. Umbrella must be trying to cover its tracks. But if I have to go, I'm going to take you with me. What the... Pull them right through the stairs. So yep. if we want to go down, he gets spit back up while his torso part. Yeah. Wow. So that thing totally just totally ripped off his legs. Um, yep. Yeah. So this is like the rape dungeon, man. Yeah. I always find it funny. You walk in there and he looks like he's going to shoot you. He's got this little fucking pistol and you got a fucking grenade launcher. It's like, what are you going to do? I got a fucking grenade launcher. You got yeah. this little gun. <laughs> well, no, look at this, man. This is more than a rape dungeon. Look, a saw. Uh, it's a torture dungeon. It's a torture dungeon. Now, in Resident Evil 1.5, the prototype to Resident Evil 2, they actually made Chief Irons an actual protagonist. He was actually a good guy, but um, they weren't happy, of course, with the game, and they made him a bad guy. Yeah. I'm try Everybody's been trying to get a hold of that game. It's very hard, I guess, to get a hold of Capcom, you know, is real anal about anybody, you know, getting it. Now, here's Birkin. Oh, he looks fucked up. Yeah. So, he's... Yeah. Now, if he, if he hits you with that pole, you will hurt bad. I like how his arm has an eyeball. Yeah. Like, what's he supposed to be turning? Oh, you asshole. Oh, he got you. He hit you. Well, actually, I'm still fine. Wow. What was he supposed to turn into? Just not like a regular zombie, right? Nah, he's supposed to turn into a tyrant. Mm. He is a tyrant right now. That's like the first form of the tyrant. Or one of them. Uh, okay. Actually, it might be the second form. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, he's a tyrant. Hmm. He has the G virus in him. So yeah, we got two tyrants to worry about. We got Mr. X, who I just fought off a couple times in this mm -hmm. episode, and I have William Birkin. So I got two tyrants I got to deal with. Oh. Usually, if he hits you with that metal bar, it screws you up. Claire, you came back! I can't believe the man who developed the G-Virus is actually her father. You just hit me with a pole. <laughs> What's wrong, Claire? I got a headache. It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We should be able to find someplace safe if we can just make it out of town. But... Don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. All right, so let's head down the elevator. Back down to the rape dungeon. This is just my personal opinion on this. Okay. If I was Claire and Leon, I would get the fuck out of Raccoon City, tell the government, and we're just going to nuke the town. Yeah. Yeah, basically. I mean, come on. You know, that's just me. I'm like, no. No. Basically, I mean, that's what happens to at, to the town at the end of Resident Evil 3. It gets nuked. Yeah. But if they did yeah. that, they wouldn't have created my favorite game of the series, man. Yeah, that is true. 
Yeah, but I would love to get a hold of Resident Evil 1.5 and play it. Or, or Biohazard 1.5, whatever they call it. Of course, they call they call it Biohazard in uh, Japan. Hmm. Do you want to go up the ladder? Oh, yeah. Hey, y'all. So, yeah, we're in the sewers now. Come on, let's get out of here. For the sewers, it's pretty light. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's Hunk. It's Mr. X. Where? Run! Yeah. It's, it's like, dude, you can just die already. Uh -huh. Sherry gets sucked under Sherry? the meat. Where are you? Or pulled, Sherry! Or pulled through. Or... All right, well, one difference is yeah, floodgate. She gets sucked on that floodgate. Well, one difference is we don't take control of her like we did in the first scenario, so we're still in control of Claire, which is a little strange. Ooh, weed. I yes. mean, herbs. Blue weed. Yeah. Oh yeah. And if you mix a red weed and a blue weed, no way. Oh. No, red weed mix and green a red weed. weed. Yeah. Yep. All right, let's put this some of this stuff away. Uh, but if, if you mix the red weed and the green weed, you get brown weed. Yeah. Combine this, and we're ready to go. Um, is there anything back in these lockers, I wonder? Yeah, first aid spray. How about that shit? Nice. Man, and barking dogs, too, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Wish we had uh, a bow gun for them. <laughs> yeah. I think oh, there's hand gun, gun ammo in this. Yep. Nice. Looks yeah. like we really need it, though, but. Yep. Yeah. It comes in a little useful. That pick lock is like the shit. Yep. Lock pick, yep. Yep. Now, if you remember, this is where Sherry ended up in the first scenario. Mm hmm. She ended up in this, like, waterfall. But she's not here. What the hell happened to her? Hmm. That's, that's where we took control of her when she was yep. sucked through that floodgate. Oh, that zombie's still here. Oh. We're afraid. And what's back here? Some G rounds. Yeah, we snuck through here as Sherry. Damn it, he wasn't still alive. Ugh. Yep. Sucks. Yep, look for the blood. Well, it's hard to. <laughs> yeah, it is hard down here. <laughs> well, it's hard because I'm not playing it on a system. <laughs> oh, yeah, the emulator's a lot darker. Well, no, it's just the way the blood is. No, the, the, the emulator is actually a lot lighter. It's just the blood oh. won't show up as good. I see. Something yeah. with uh, the video card or something. But this looks like a great place to end it. I'm actually going to go down here and I'll show you what I might do. Hopefully I have enough time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go quicker. Oh, there's Leon. What happened? You're bleeding. I, I, I ran into this woman who is in trouble. Her name's Ada. 
Right after that, someone tried to kill me. Nearly succeeded, too. Ada went after the sniper, but I'm worried about her. You gotta find her before, before something happens. But you've been shot. I'll be okay. It's Ada I'm worried about. Yeah. You've just been shot in the chest and you're worried about a girl you don't even know. But actually, yeah, we can go up on Leon's side, which will be a quicker, quicker way back to the sewer so I can get my machine gun. So this is what we're going to do. So, um, yeah, we'll continue here by poor old Leon who was just shot. Um, so this has been W Balls 03 with Thomas Stout 25. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.